this is part two of my guide for leveling ground. I'm Wolfram, and if you want to check out the um, part one, that will set out the setup and the strategy I used. Part one, parts two and three, I'm going to go through implementing that strategy. So I'm going to show you the whole way of how I level, how I level up the ground only in a war zone. Um, I'll leave a link for the other parts in the description below. Um, if you like, please give this a like and a subscribe would be great. Thanks a lot. That was just a horrible game. Managed to get a total of three kills. Not a great start to this. Managed to unlock sleight of hand, not attachment I'm going to use um, for this class setup and move the growl up to level 13. I promise it gets better from here. And we're on to game two. That was a much better game there. There were nine kills in the game. No kills pre-lobby, unfortunately, but I managed to unlock some new items. So I changed the setup slightly, added the operator reflex slight, uh, again, because I don't really like the iron sights, uh, added the blackjack stock, just to help out a little bit. And now we're on to game three. A bit better again this time, 10 kills in the game, I managed to get one kill in the pre-game lobby. The problem in this one was I had to get a bunch of the kills in my secondary weapon. As you can see, the Grau still isn't good at range, it's not really even that good at the medium gunfights. And so I had to switch over to my M4 setup to either finish off kills or to get them in the first place. We've unlocked two new attachments, the 12 gauge deputy which we're not going to use and the muzzle brake which again we're not going to use. We're up to level 18, grind carries on and we're on to game 4. Lost a bit of footage at the end of that game, but I made it six kills 
in the game two gear kills pre lobby the guns still got problems at distance um, we've got it up to level 19 now not a significant increase and i'm still relying on the overkill uh, weapon to achieve the medium to longer range engagements game five goes pretty much the same way managed to get one level unlock unlock the mark four grip not going to use it so we're on to game six Pretty good game, got 10 kills, got a few more unlocks on the weapon, crucially the XRK Void handle, that is one of the um, handles I use on the premium loadout for this weapon, so as soon as you get that equip it because it really does help with the aim down sights time, otherwise none of the other attachments assist. And we're straight into game 7. So we got some serious um, kills in that game. It was quite sweaty with a couple of guys towards the end. However, this added quite a lot of XP to the gun and managed to get some decent unlocks this time. That really now changed the gun. So this is the end of game seven. We're at level 27. We've got some um, serious improvements. Firstly, 50 round mags, enormous difference to the gun. As you can see, I kept having to reload after downing someone to having to then eliminate them, which slows you down. The XRK uh, handle really speeds the gun up and we start to see some serious improvements. I also, at this point, decided to put on a tactical um, suppressor, which I think really does help when using it along with Ghost to keep you off the map. And so we're into game eight. At this point, I make a loadout change to remove my M4 as my long range weapon because now the Grau is becoming more of a long range weapon with the extended mags. And I instead use my MP5 setup. Again, link in the description for the MP5 setup. That's going to be my go to for close quarter combat with the Grau being the all rounder.
and now the gun feels substantially better that was 11 kill game really it is about average um, i'm getting for these games i'm a pretty average player i'm just over a sort of 1 kd so this is nothing spectacular this is pretty much what i'd expect for most people to be able to get and we've got some more unlocks for the gun it's up to level 30 now and um, the crucial difference i make here is i change the stock to the new xrk strike light stock to give us a bit more ads speed and i change my loadout to remove overkill as i found i didn't really need the mp5 the grau is now functioning much better as an all-round gun i can now put on ghost and i put on an rpg as my secondary weapon and the thing about the levels is although it looks like we're about halfway through leveling up and we're on game nine actually they exponentially get harder because you need so much more xp per level and so now the real grind begins with the guns to get there and i'm going to skip through these games now quite quickly but we're on to game nine That's a pretty average game and we get to unlock the Cronin Shark underbarrel attachment in this one. This is certainly one I recommend on my loadout. Not everyone agrees, some of the people recommend the Commando foregrip. I found putting the Cronin Shark on the underbarrel is just better for me. Something for you to experiment, I certainly recommend it, give it a go. And we're on to game 10 now. That was a pretty good game and the gun is starting to show its abilities in-game 
as really being the primary go-to weapon. It's, and the result of this one is now we've unlocked the Archangel Barrel, which is going to be one of the premium attachments in my uh, view. I put, I put the barrel on straight away. In the clip, I take off the Tactical Suppressor. In fact, I change my mind, and for the next game, game 12, I'm going to have the Tactical Suppressor back on, and I'm going to take the stock off, and it turns out to be a pretty good gun. Sorry I got that wrong, this is game 11.